Hello, hello, and hello to all of my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your new moon in Leo reading. The moon is already in Leo. You already have the questions from the last video. Go check those video. Go check that video out. Look at the questions because a lot of times people need some guidance. They feel like, okay, I'm not sure if I'm headed in the right direction. I need some. I need some clarity, and I, I feel some kind of way. I feel a little bit torn. That's the whole purpose of me adding questions to the comment section and pinning them to the top of the videos so that when you look at all areas of your life and you say, okay, certain areas I feel nurtured, protected, and secure, but other areas I don't feel nurtured, protected, and secure. Those questions are helping you to see what moon phase either we're already in, like currently we're in the moon in Leo, but we're moving to the moon and um, the moon is moving into Virgo. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you those questions today. You're going to already have those questions. So you'll know when I close out this cycle, I'm closing out, I'm finishing out strong. I'm closing out this cycle strong. So that when you're moving forward, you don't feel like you have that heaviness on you. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Scorpios, I'm talking to you. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, King of Swords, Five of Swords, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Knight of Wands. We also have the Queen of Wands and also the Ten of Swords. All right. Somebody um, definitely feels like somebody played a game of chess. Like somebody played games. Here we have the King of Swords. We have the um, the Five of Swords. We also have the Two of Swords. We also have the, the Queen of Wands and also the Knight of Wands. So Source is saying to you, you are, you're, you become a lot wiser, you know, in terms of the matter of the heart. You know, um, you could you could look at it as because you all are it, it, um, emotionally the smartest sign in the zodiac. So somebody could look at it as like I had on blindfolds, like I didn't even see something coming, like I, I didn't even see some. I, you know, I felt like I was blindsided by love. I felt like I, I just I experienced something different, new and different than I've ever experienced before. And it's hard for me to move on from something, right? So you become a lot wiser. I mean, somebody has been so hurt you know, by people in the past taking advantage of you, seeing you as the black sheep of the family, people standing around talking about you and nobody protecting you. Somebody definitely could have been like blindsided by love. Like what the heck is this, right? So I see somebody feeling happy, charismatic and free. This is the um, queen of wands here, but I see somebody also staying as far away from any negative comments about it, any negative thinking about it. So because somebody has... Now you're in tune with your your heart chakra, right? So when we talk about sword energy, we're talking about the element of air, which is connects us to our heart chakra. The heart chakra is tricky. So that'll keep you that'll keep you in connected to people who keep hurting you. You're like, I love them, but I'm I'm hurt by them, right? That's the heart chakra. So now you want to do a cleansing. You want to do a spiritual cleansing. So if you're watching this video on the 15th, we still have a little bit of time to close out this cycle and say, okay, I've made a decision. I need to take a salt bath. I need to do some cleansing. I need to set my intentions for this new lunar cycle. You know, I don't want to enter into this new cycle. And remember, when we're going from one cycle to the next, as we're going from one phase to the next, it is, it's not a, it's not a, you're not a robot. So that doesn't mean like, let's say you're in a relationship right now. And it's just like, I feel blindsided. Like, oh my God, I'm just now waking up out of a trance. I've been so used to being hurt that this is what love could feel like. Like, okay. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. Take off the blindfold so that you can see what you need, what you've prayed for. You can see it in, you know, right in your face so that you're not looking at it as a, like side eye. I'm not giving off toxicity because I've been so hurt in the past that this new energy coming into my life had to jump through all these fiery hoops and I got to I got to burn them out because somebody from the past burned me out. Get that toxicity out of your water. Just get it out of your water because that's unhealthy. That toxicity could have come from family members. It could have come from ex-love interest. It could have come from friends that stood around and let other people talk negatively about you. So it's like, okay, if you got all of this toxicity in your system and you're not monetizing it, like through a book, you know, a self-help book to help other people, somebody, somebody has to know what their life purpose is. Am I, can I use this? Am I able to separate, am I able to separate the good from the bad by your definition of good, bad, right? I've been so hurt in the past and so talked about in the past and so played in the past that it's hard for me to remain happy, charismatic, and free. Because when I think about loved ones, I've been so hurt and betrayed. Source is saying you want to release all of that. Make that one of your 
the seeds that you're planting for this particular, for this new cycle. Here we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So I see somebody in a, um, you and your person building a legacy, building legacy wealth. You are a person. See how this person has like barrels of pentacles behind them? This person is they know their wealth they know their worth they like this this is crab right here if i put feelers out there and i feel unsafe or if i feel like i'm about to get negative because i'm in spaces where i don't feel safe i don't feel secure protected and nurtured then i need to i need to retreat right and so if you're in a new relationship and you're thinking about building legacy with somebody don't make them pay for what other people did to you in the past because they too will move on. They will be like, you know what? I, I, I know what my life purpose is. So everything is perfectly aligned for you in terms of your personal life and your professional life. Like I said, if you bring in fear and doubt and, and, and toxicity into a new relationship, it'll all feel like a game. It'll always feel like, okay, I gotta, I gotta test this person. I gotta test it. You're not their God and they're not your God. You should be listening to your intuition, that inner voice, right? So somebody is definitely wise enough. We had the King of Swords came out twice. You're wise enough about situations from the past, wise enough to know at this point that, hey, listen, my past is the past. People tried to play me. They tried to do all it, but not today. I'm wise enough. I don't need to make new person pay for what old person did. I want to see the beauty moving forward, right? So it's definitely two energies from your past. It could have been family members. It's really two spirits, so it can be multiple people, but it's two types of spirits that cause fear, doubt, uncertainty. They, they like awaken your in, your um your the enemy in you, whatever your demons are, right? So then we have the Queen of Swords, and I do see somebody now sit, carefully sitting on that throne, carefully vetting all the thoughts that come through your mind about things, but not overly doing it, like not over giving thought to something to a point of paranoia, like not that, right? So. Just learning the lessons. That's, that's the whole purpose of all of this thinking, your heart chakra. What lesson did I learn about myself when I look at, you know, my heart chakra? Is my heart clean? Is my heart clean towards people where I don't feel like, you know, I, I have to come across like the Game of Thrones. I have to cut people off quickly to let them know that my heart is in the right place. And you're trying to play me. I've been played all the time. I mean, like all of that sources, like toss all of that out the window. Here we have the Hierophant card, the Temperance card, the World card, the Seven of Wands, Eight of Coins, and also the Chariot card. I do see somebody settling down, getting married. Source wants you to have an innate spiritual understanding of yourself. Like, really look at yourself and start closing out cycles with energies that are so stubborn and bullheaded and, you know... Um, not open to seeing things from a broader perspective, but I see somebody, I see you getting, I see somebody getting married. If you're not already married, married in business or married in a romantic sense, but source has been sending you a lot of information about sending you a lot of information about your heart chakra, like how your heart is also connected to the decisions that you make in, in the decisions you've made in the past and decisions you'll make moving forward, right? So if you're with somebody who, like you, knows your life purpose, that's great because both of you all are saying we can, we can build around our life purpose. But if you're with somebody who doesn't know their life purpose and you know yours, unequally yoked or even vice versa, unequally yoked, there's a recipe for disaster or just right off the cuff. It's just a recipe for disaster. So source is sending you a lot of information about moving forward and building. So I do see somebody being able to defend their decision to move forward without coming across as being defensive to people. Like, and, and that takes some vetting. That's what you have the Queen of Swords here, right here. You know, a lot of people don't take the time to vet people. They just kind of jump into stuff and then, okay, it didn't work out. And they, they start showing me some of the things that some of my exes did. Ruin, relationship ruined off the top, right? So I do see some major changes here moving forward. And that's what Source is. That's what you're being rewarded by, you know, rewarded from. Somebody needs to start asking people, do you know what your purpose is? <laughs> That is a, that's a perfectly normal question. Do you know what your life purpose is? And how do you use your purpose to better mankind? 
that should be part of that should just be part of the question instead of saying, well, what happened in your last relationship? And do you still keep in contact with your ex? OK, that's those are great questions, too. You know, do you have a good relationship with your family and where are you from and what's your name and what's your birthday and all that? Trying to pull people's birth charts. You can do all of that, too. But make ask some more questions in there. What is your life purpose? What is your purpose? I know what my purpose is. That's what you're saying to them. I know what my purpose is. And this is how I use it to better mankind. This is, I'm doing my part to better mankind. I know that. I got feedback from my clients and such and such, and blah, blah, blah. That's you, not me. I'm saying to just you. you. You got feedback from people. You got a track record of stuff, right? Where people are saying, wow, you really helped me. You did this and that. And if you're connected with somebody who's still trying to find themselves, hey, that's okay. You don't have to harshly judge them. They're just not for you. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. We also have the Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the Lover's Card, and also the Star Card. So yeah, somebody could feel like an Aquarius is their soulmate. Or at least somebody who has Aquarius somewhere in their birth chart. But I do see, like I said, Page of Pentacles, more money coming across your path. And everything is, like I said, perfectly aligned. And we're seeing, we're seeing this twice. Something is perfect. Your life is perfectly aligned. When you're looking at people and you say they add value to your life, you feel secure around them, you feel stable around them, or more stable, you know, like, and they feel stable and secure around you. This is reciprocal. You feel nurtured, you feel uh, tenacious, you feel loyalty there, you feel. Um, you feel like there is no necess there's no cracks in their foundation, no cracks in yours. Um, that doesn't make them perfect, doesn't make you perfect, but I'm saying somebody in a perfect job, like literally on both sides of your life, I've seen balance for you. So that's what somebody is headed towards. But again, you got to stay as far away from the negative comments and stuff about something from the past. This person burned me, burned me out. They played me. They did this and that. So it's just like new person or new job or new, you know, something on your personal, or your professional life should not have to pay for stuff in the past. Matter of fact, Matter of fact, your wisdom won't even let it show, won't even let it see you sweat moving forward. It's like, okay, I've become wise in these areas. So yeah, I need to ask questions if that doesn't come across as I'm paranoid. It's harvest time for you. It's harvest time for you. Like I said, great things are happening and it's harvest time. It is harvest time for you. Harvest time for you. Here we have Fire Festival, that number 11. Sources says, step into your light. Get rid of all the negative comments, I mean, negative thoughts and, and, you know, talking about negative stuff in the past. This person played, whatever, whatever the negative comments. Get rid of that, both on both of your personal and your professional life, because you, you're giving life to it, right? Just letting it sit, that toxicity sit in your, in your water. It's like letting ashes sit in your water. Here we have, bring love into the situation. That's right. Agape love. Bring love into the situation. That says moon in Aquarius. And remember the full moon was in Aquarius. That's the, that doesn't say full moon, but the moon the moon was in Aquarius. The full moon in Aquarius was on the 1st of August. And that was really about knowing your life purpose. So that's perfect. It's like um, this new me, I know what my life purpose is. And the new me is going to start carefully vetting people who, what is the purpose? Just like you're going into a project. What is the purpose of the project, <laughs> right? What's the reason for why this exists? What's the expected outcome? Like if you're going into any kind of a relationship, like what what is the purpose? Why am I in this? Is the end goal to get married? Is the end goal is just to see and waste your time and waste other people's time? Like what who's at, at a certain state, a certain stage, the wisdom, you're not just feeling your way through stuff. Right? You're not just feeling your way through things. You're saying, I I ha I'm I have a goal here. I know, I know the reason why this exists. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Let's, uh, let's get ready to close this out. So that's what I'm seeing on the other side of all of this. So I do see somebody feeling like, hey, yeah, I know how to take care of myself. And I like being around other people who are self-sufficient, people who are not gold diggers, people who are not trying to get what they can get from me, you know, ride off of this, my blood, sweat, and tears, you know, so... Yeah, something, somebody definitely felt blindsided by something. Here we have confidence is the key to success. That's right, confidence is the key to success. So, somebody has to know when to close out cycles and what lessons you learn from closing out cycles. What lesson did you learn 
when you close out cycles, you could have two energies right before you and say, okay, what is the purpose of both of these energies in front of me? Like you could be dating two people. Like you could be like, oh, and tell everybody I'm dating multiple people. You know, I'm not exclusive right now. I'm just trying to see. Both of them have to be on board, right? Or else somebody's going to get hurt. And one of their purpose could be to help you to, you know, help motivate you and empower you to keep, to have that will, like that take action sooner, right? Um, but if, if you find out that this energy is narcissistic or bullying, or they're trying to, they're not giving you an opportunity to process your emotions and those kind of things, that may be an energy that you said, okay, I need to release that or people threatening to use something against you or whatever versus this energy over here, they may, um, empower you to do more thinking about situations and taking actions in a way of creating very firm boundaries, um, while giving you a chance to process things, right? So whatever, you know, then you, you can make your decision from there. So that's what I'm seeing for somebody. So, yeah, so I, I see you doing, you know, fire festival, talk to some things into a fire pit and just moving forward. You know, and doing what's best, what's best for you is what I'm saying for you. Divine flow. So eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the divine flow at all costs, right? Main thing is you want to connect yourself with people who know what their life purpose is. It can be very costly when you're in a relationship with energies that don't know what their purpose is. They have no clue as to why they are here on this big, beautiful green planet Earth and they don't have any problems with being a, a, that idle time worrying you. Why is it taking you so long? Accusing you of cheating. Why are you doing this? How come, you know, how come you always, you seem like you're always so busy. You don't have enough time for me. Go find something to do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that's almost what you want to tell people is like, what's your purpose? But if you find out up front whether the person knows what their purpose is or not, you can save yourself a lot of stuff on the back end. Some people just don't know. And guess what? That's okay. But it shouldn't be okay for you if you know what yours is. That's unequally yoked. You're stepping into a situation where later on you're going to say, oh my God, oh my God. Now your emotions are involved. It could have been, you know, exchange of energy in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It's just a mess. So create art. Somebody creates art in a, some in way. That's how somebody makes their money, creating art, whether you're a singer, dancer, songwriter, you know, a, an artist in this way, painter, you know, spoken word, you know, in the entertainment industry, sports industry, whatever it is, something having to do your art is making money for somebody, right? You can even be a card reader, something that's art in that as well, right? Creativity. Wherever you're using your creativity is where your money is. And so you're going to have to align yourself with other people who, as a water sign, water signs are highly creative. You know, you're going to have to align yourself with other energies that are also highly creative, not people who are just, like I said, unequally yoked energies. What, let's see what your number is and let's close it out. Let's see what your number is and then we're going to have an affirmation card and we're closing it out. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. 99, I am courageous. There we go. Nine is a number of transformation. So it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. That's right. I am courageous. And one last thing, and we're going to close this out. One last thing, and we're closing this out. So abundance, affirmation for abundance. Abundance is my birthright. There's a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I am attracting everything that I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. Yeah, if you're just going on just, you know, out of balance, you know, just, I mean, receiving, receiving, receiving mode without taking some kind of action to say, okay, I need to align myself with energies who know what their purpose is. That's what it really boils down to. I mean, for everything. If they don't, if people don't know what their purpose is, their creative life force and their purpose, the reason for why they exist here on earth and how they can use their life experiences as well as as well as their God-given gifts and talents to better mankind, you should run. <laughs> The only thing I can tell you is that it's time to get out of there, especially if you know yours, save yourself years of heartache and just frustration. 
that's what I, and, and that's in business as well as, um, you know, that's like going, getting into a new job project and you don't even have, you don't have an end date. You don't have somebody who's a project manager. They don't know what's going on. It's just kind of sort of flying off this, you know, just like all over the place, a mess, no structure, no nothing. So that is what I have for you, Scorpios. And I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.